hello everyone today we are discussing the topic grid services and vogsa um, motivation in the sense uh, intention for uh, uh, vogsa first of all we see the grid services what the grid services in the sense exactly uh, this is a um, mechanism for creating new services and uh, specifying assertions regarding the lifetime of a service in the sense grid service we want to creating some new services and we want to specify some assertions regarding the lifetime of a service mm, here the open grid service architecture model uh, defines a specific uh, standard interfaces known as a factor okay we want to implement this is as reference okay here any service that is created must address the former services as the reference of later services okay here we want to say um, what exactly the grid service it is a dynamically created grid services uh, instances it is associated with a Mm, specified lifetime okay for creating new services we want to specify the lifetime of a service okay it's nothing but grid service here we want to learn here the motivation what we want to do in the motivation what the intention of our uh, ogsa open grid service architecture Mm, here we see this these are the important points for uh, motivation uh, in the sense intention for vogsa facilitate uh, use uh, to facilitate use and management of resources across distributed and heterogeneous environments and we want to facilitate uh, the management of resources what it can be able to use the purpose of we want to distribute it across the different different environments in the scenario okay here we want to deliver the seamless quality of services we want to deliver here we want to define um, open and published interfaces in order to provide the interoperability how we want to interoperable um, how to provide the interfaces in published of diverse resources okay here the next point it exploit industry standard integration technologies and we want to develop the standards uh, that uh, that achieve that achieve interoperability we want to develop some standards here we want to uh, success the interoperability here to integrate virtualize and uh, we want to manage the services and the resources in a distributed way and a heterogeneous environment we want to deliver um functionality as loosely coupled in the sense we know easier maintainability greater capability will be there in loser uh, loosely coupled it interacting the services um aligned with the uh, uh, industry accepted web services standards okay this is the concept of motivation now we see the concept of open grid service architecture services what services we have to provided to the grid okay open grid service architecture services fall into seven broad areas how many broad areas it will uh, fall ma mm, seven broad areas in terms of capabilities uh, frequently it requires in a grid scenario this is the, the figure shows here the the Mm, the side the figure shows the vogsa architecture these services are summarized as follows here okay look at this diagram all of you clearly here we want see this diagram here already we seen in open grid service architecture here the application layer in this is the grid applications and coming to the open grid service architecture we want to learn these services data services self management services information services what are the infrastructure services and one more execution management services resources management and the security okay these are the these are the seven seven broadcast areas we want to include in 
ओ जी एस ए आर्किटेक्चर दीज आर् वे सर्वीस इन बिलो लेयर वी हेव वे सर्वीस वे सर्वीस मैनेजमेंट ओके डबल्यू एस आर एफ अंड वे सर्वीस अड्रसिंग अंड ओपन ग्रिड सर्वीस इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर वी हेव सीन द फैब्रिक लेयर फैब्रिक लेयर इन देंस इज बिलो लेयर वी वॉन्ट टू से द फैब्रिक लेयर अंड द मिडिल लेयर वी हेव टू से मिडिल वेर ए कलेक्शन आफ साफ्टवेर इज नथिंग बट मिडिल वेर अंड अप्लीकेशन लेयर वॉट आर द अप्लीकेशन वी वॉन्ट टू अचीव इन ओ जी एस ए ओके now we see ogsa services ogsa services it can be broadly we have to divided into how many areas ma hmm? how many areas seven areas okay uh, here first of all we have to um, learn about ogsa services who developed that who which which one uh, this working group will take we have to see that the ogsa developed within the ogsa working group of the global grid forum okay global grid forum simulation tool it is a service oriented architecture okay it it is developed within the ogsa working group okay that aims what in the sense to define a common uh, standard and open architecture for uh, grid based applications here open refers to both to the process uh, to develop standards and the standards themselves okay in open grid service architecture everything from registries uh, to computational tasks to data resources um, is considered as a service okay these extensible set of services are the building blocks of an ogsa based grid okay we want to see here ogsa is what the main intention in the sense um, we already we seen the intention what the motivation for ogsa we want to facilitate use and management of resources across distributed and different environments and we want to deliver the seamless quality of service and we want to define grid is a open source and it is a published interfaces in order to provide interoperability of diverse resources and we need to exploit industry standard integration technologies what we want to develop the standards and one and we want to achieve the interoperability okay we want to integrate and virtualize and manage services and resources in a distributed and heterogeneous environments and finally we want to deliver the functionality as loosely coupled um, interacting the services aligned with industry accepted web services standards these are the main aligned with industry okay these are the web service standards here we want to learn here the ogsi in the sense uh, open grid service infrastructure uh, developed by the global grid forum it gives a formal and uh, technical specifications of a grid service a uh, grid service interface it corresponds to port types mm, port types it what service grid service interface it corresponds to port types in web service description language here the set of um, port types supported by a grid services along with some additional information uh, relating to um, spe uh, spe the specified uh, grid service in the sense service type what service type in the grid service we want to specify Mm, a web service description language extensibility element it defined by open grid service architecture here mm, we want to learn the grid uh, service interface first of all the grid service interface addresses um Ah, uh, here uh, it it is centered on grid services. These services demand special, well-defined application interfaces. Here, these interfaces provide a uh, resource discovery, dynamic services creation, li and lifetime management, ah, uh, notification and manageability is nothing but grid service interfaces. What it does done exactly. 
and whereas we see um, the conventions address naming and upgradability uh, here we want to learn the grid service implementations um, can target the native platform facilities for uh, integration with and of uh, exciting the IT infrastructures okay now we see the seven broad areas coming in OGSS services coming to the first one infrastructure services what it refers exactly we have to learn here okay Infrastructure services, the first one, it refers to a set of common functionalities. Here, the, here it refers only the set of common functionalities such as naming and typically required by higher level services. Okay, typically required by higher level services and coming to the execution management services what it exactly um, it is concerned with uh, the tasks may range from simple jobs we have to take to complex simple jobs to complex workflows or uh, composite services uh, we have to execute uh, here the services concerned with um, issues such as starting and management uh, man managing tasks and it including placements uh, provisioning and life cycle management okay this is the execution management services this service may including the placements and life cycle management the task may range from simple jobs to complex workflows what data will be flow okay and coming to the data management service what the data management service exactly here it provides the functionality to move data or to where it is needed and maintain replicated copies okay it maintain the replicated copies and it run queries and we have to done in data manager services it handles the issues such as data consistency um, and persistency and integrity okay an open grid service architecture data service it's a data service open grid service architecture data service it is a web service that implements one or more of the base data interfaces okay one or more of the base data interfaces it implements we want to enable the accessing and managing the data resources in an distributed environment here we want to learn the three base interfaces first one data access second one data factory and third one data management here we want to define the basic operations for representing um, accessing and creating and managing what we have to create access represent data what data exactly we have to learn here data okay here we, we want to see here the next uh, broad area is resource management services what we have to learn in resource management services fourth one it provides the management capabilities for grid resources for grid resources it provides the management capabilities we want to manage the resources themselves okay management of the resources it's like a grid it like as such as a grid components and management of the open grid service architecture infrastructures and for example we have to learn here resources can be monitored reserved uh, deployed and configured what the resources resources it can be able to purpose some materials what we have to monitor and reserved and what we want to deliver and what we have to configure it as need as need to meet the applications of quality of service requirements okay it also requires an information model is nothing but semantics okay and data model in the sense the representation of a data model of the grid resources and services we have to learn in resource management services this is also a one type of a service resource management service whatever the resources um, grid uh, resources we have to manage like uh, grid components 
and management of the OGS infrastructure. We want, for example, we have to take the resources. It can be monitored, deployed and configured what you need. We want to meet some applications, the quality of service requirements. It also requires an information model like semantics and data model like representation of the grid resources and services coming to the security services security the name itself says what we want to provide some security to the resources okay it facilitates the enforcement of security related policies um, within a virtual organization and it supports the safe resources what it supports a safe resource sharing what supports safe, safe resource sharing and the authentication the correct person is accessing or not authorization and integrity assurance are are, are, the, are the key essential function functionalities or the um, important functionalities provided by these services okay to facilitate the enforcement of security related policies within a virtual organization it supports a resource sharing authentication authorization and integrity assurance it these are the essential key functionalities provided by these services okay this is nothing but security services coming to the very very easy task is information services information the name exactly says what information we have to serve we have to service Mm, okay, the, it provides the efficient uh, production of and access to information, what we want to access, information about the grid, okay, and its constituent resources, the term information, it refers to dynamic data or event or events okay event is an action okay it used for status monitoring mm, relatively static data it used for discovery purpose and any data okay that is logged here we want to show some troubleshooting is just a troubleshooting is nothing ma it is just one of the possible uses for information provided by these services once again easily i have to say what information services exactly what does it exactly information refers it is nothing but dynamic data used for uh, monitoring and relatively the static data used for discovery and any data that is to be logged okay uh, here troubleshooting is just one of the possible use for information provided by these services okay and finally we have to learn about self-management services what is nothing but self-management self self the name lone on the self-management service and into it supports service level attainment attainment we have to attain it we have to obtain my obtain it okay mm, it supports service level attainment for a set of services in the sense or resources with the, um, as much automation as possible to uh, to reduce the cost uh, to decrease the cost and complexity of managing the system these services are important in addressing the increasing complexity of warning and operating and in an IT infrastructure nothing ma self management service in the sense it supports the service level attainment for a set of resources um, as much as possible to reduce the cost and complexity uh, to manage the system these services are important to addressing and enhancing the complexity of an operating it infrastructure later we discussed the open grid service infrastructure thank you